Alright guys, we're going to be making a guide for Riven against a Wukong today. Also, I'm playing on my secondary account. This is a uh, Diamond 1 game. We're actually in promotion for Diamond 1 on my secondary account. So, with that being said guys, Diamond 1 game, Riven against Wukong. Let me show you guys actually how to play this matchup. Now, the best ruins for this matchup is going to be Conqueror, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Stand, Magical Footwear with the Cosmic Insight, City of Scaling, AD, and Armor. This is what I would recommend um, pretty much in most matchups too. Now, as far as the matchup goes, uh, the Wukong matchup is actually quite an interesting one. Uh, I'll be going over it. Now, there's a couple things to, th to think about when, when playing this matchup. Oh, actually, that was a pretty bad start. I tanked up a little too much damage for not leaving an auto. I tried to leave an auto, but it didn't work really well because of the CS. Okay, there's two ways how you can play this out, right? You could technically Porsche level 1 into Wukong, and you could win level 1 pretty hard. Then again, it really depends on what uh, rune setup he plays with and his starter item. You could destroy a pretty hard level one, so we're just gonna be uh, we're just gonna be relaxing. I'll wait for my level two and level three, and as soon as we get level two and three, we will start like trading the Wukong. That's where things get very easy. I consider the level one and level two to be the hardest part in this matchup. Anything that comes after level two and three is, uh, in my opinion, it's easy to pull off. It's just the wave management, that's all. You gotta have the lane, um, you gotta freeze it around the perf like perfect place, that's all. Okay, as soon as I get close, this guy is going to always use his E and Q. Gotta keep this in mind, so... We only want to use my shield when he uses his E, right? As long as he doesn't use E, we're not going to use our shield either. Unless the wave is in a, um, in a good spot, but... Let's see where he's going to come from. I think he might be roaming. I should be missing out just a few. Eve is currently bottom, that's good to know. I think Wukong is probably going to go for the, the, the Cheater Recall. <clears throat> I'm going to put the lane into like a like a slow push. And then after that I'll probably get like a secondary Doran Blade. So I can make my lane like a little stronger. So typically the way how you want to trade Wukong is easy. When I have more crease on your side of the of the lane when training him. You also on the way back of the trade, you always want to use your shield so you don't so he doesn't uh, turn the trade around. The lane is gonna get pushed in directly under turret. That's very good. So now we're gonna go back. Get a secondary drone blade. I'm gonna actually gonna refer that one. Okay, there's two things I'm going to focus on around this matchup. Two things, so I want the lane to be frozen around here. Because if the lane freezes here, then Wukong will have a lot of trouble actually trading me. So as soon as this wave bounces into us, I'm going to try to use this to my advantage and then we're going to start trading him. Should work out pretty well. Uh, secondly, we currently have the teleport up. So I'm going to try to push the lane in certain moments to actually see if I can maybe do like a roam around bottom. We will see. We're going to have to keep a really good watch on bot lane seeing what happens so we can turn there. That's all. So now I'm just going to relax. I'm just going to wait. Let the, uh, let the wave actually bounce into me. Something to keep in mind too is that they actually have an Eve jungle, so eventually he can just show up anytime. I'm not gonna trade him now because he actually has the, the, the creep majority. There's actually like a control ward down here and the jungler is also nearby.
He's actually stacking up the, the creep waves. We actually have a TF2. Oh, 15, 15 HP actually. Oh man, that was so close. I should have ulted earlier. So normally I would actually let, um, I would 100% let Wukong just push that in until the wave is in a good spot. But in this case, I had Volibear nearby. I had the Twisted Fate ultimate. So this was like a really good opportunity, except we just didn't get the kill. Okay, let's go back to base. Gonna get another Longsword, a Ward, and I'll get a, a Revivable Potion. Okay, let's get ready. So once again, we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna start freezing the lane around uh, around here, and I'm gonna be waiting for great opportunities for, with my TP for bot lane later on in the game. Unfortunately, they did get the dragon uh, while we actually got nothing out of top. Very unfortunate. Okay, let's see. In terms of farm, we're actually like 15 CS behind at the moment. All right, let's see where he's gonna come from. I think he's probably just sitting in one of these bushes. I'm gonna put the lane into like a slow push. As soon as he comes in, I'll push like a little, just a little faster. I think I could probably make like a roam in mid. Maybe get something off there. Okay, we gotta have to be really careful of Eve now because she, sh she could technically show up anytime. I think we could probably try to get a kill in mid. See if I can make it happen. We just need one stun to get this guy. I think he probably has vision. I lost like a little bit of XP to make this work though. I would like to TP down here, but I won't do this. Okay, now the wave is going to bounce into me. The only thing is I'm actually behind like three creeps of XP. He's got a page and also armor. If you happen to get into a situation where uh, Wukong can trade you, you can actually press your EW and then cancel the entire trade immediately. Oh, he's smart. He actually trade there with a, with a Q. I think he's also maxing his Q here. And there we go. Just going to thin out the entire wave completely. But I will hold on to these creeps just a little second. If I'm just dragging the, the, the wave slightly to my side so I can start pushing out. Ooh, that was a long Q range. Whoa. That was a really long one. He's going... Oh, those Q the ranges are really long? I'm actually surprised. Okay. I can't really move up to Wukong too much at the moment because Eve is missing. So I'll just sit safe here. The most annoying part of this game right now is Eve. She can basically show up during any time whenever she wants to and basically be a pain. I also got hit by like a little bit too many Qs of Wukong so... 
The good thing is, like, as soon as we get, like, a little further into the game, we will just automatically outscale the Wukong. There's going to be a fight bottom. I'll have to reset. Get back to full health. I think I'll probably consider using my TP here. Yeah, he's gonna push. Okay, that's great. A matchup like this one, if you only make a couple too many uh, too many mistakes throughout the lane where you get hit too much by the Qs, just take it patiently. It's okay if, th if these things are happening. As long as you stay safe, you, you stay patient, you will eventually outscale them anyway. Wukong is either being forced to TP or he's gonna lose like at least an entire wave and one plating. Okay, we have one plating advantage. We got a TF uh, having the pressure right now. He's got level 10. I'll be getting my level 10 soon. I got him. There you go. The trick in this matchup, it's kind of hard to pull off, but if you're really fast... Um, if you do like a trade on Wukong and you stack up your Conqueror that way... If he actually decides to jump directly into you... If you actually press your R immediately once he jumps on you, you can actually turn very fast. We got another plating and Wukong's TP is up, so I'm, I'm expecting to TP. Okay, so just taking it slowly, we will eventually just outscale him. This is what happens. But I can't go back to base right now yet. Uh, if I go back now, he might get like one plating. Okay, they gotta be really careful of Wukong. He's actually walking over there. I'm actually gonna stay for like one more wave. We've got like lots of pressure from my teammates. Okay, let's make our way back. We're gonna get the Black Cleaver now. I'm gonna sell my uh, refillable potion. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna split bottom from now on. I'm gonna try to like pressure bottom as much as possible. Get him. Oh, he actually managed to get away out of there. The cooldowns are completely off for me. Nice. Let's push bottom. This is going to be a lot of fun now. This is when I get all my... Uh... This is where I get my boots. Now we can actually start snowballing. I'm actually cons I'm actually thinking of taking Mercs this game. Okay. Let's go back. We could technically also take Ghost Plague this game. But then again, it's actually very risky. Let's take the Mercs. Okay, so we got Mercs for Eve and Cat. And all of their CC. 
Now, if we get that stance, I think we will outscale all of them very hard. Even Wukong. He will not stand a chance against us anymore once we get that stance. Maybe we can try and attempt to catch the, um, the Twitch. I'm gonna move up with my team here. Maybe we can do something. They got a catch. Wukong is still topside. He's gonna go back to base now. And we've got another one. Okay, now we're gonna go bottom. I'm gonna take all the farm I can on bot lane. I'm gonna split it out the in like completely up to the tower. And then see if I can maybe maybe get a catch. That would be great. I'm expecting Twitch and Yumi to maybe show up. Okay, Twitch and Yumi is there. Katarina is mid. Eve is at base. I want to try to kill Katarina. See where she's at. Oh, she actually flashed her. Oh, she actually used that. Okay. I actually used my own flash to try and catch the cat, but I could not chase because Eve was actually right behind him. Just were playing around my cooldowns a little bit. Katarina is here somewhere too. That's the exhaust. Oh, okay, we will get him. Nice. I think we could probably end the game here. This is a, a pretty fast game, not gonna lie. A pretty fast game, actually. Like, really, really fast. It only took 90 minutes. It went from laning phase straight up to the finish line. Alright, anyways. This is pretty much how you play against a, a Wukong in Diamond 1 ELO. Pretty, uh... Decent high low game. Anyways, thank you so much for watching today's YouTube video playing Riven against Wukong. Hopefully, you guys have learned something. Uh, this game is actually being played live on stream. So if you guys want to see like more challenger gameplay and all that stuff, uh, challenger Riven gameplay and all that stuff, don't forget to check out my stream, guys. There'll be a link inside the description. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.